everybody welcome back to my channel you guys thanks so much for tuning in and happy Saturday um, if you guys follow me on Instagram at underscore official doll face then you guys have already seen the beautiful amazing wonderful thing that I'm about to show you um, but if not go ahead and follow me now you can also follow me on Twitter at miss red underscore bottoms it's all spelled out and again Instagram at underscore official doll face so before we get into the real video, I want to go ahead and talk to you guys um, a little bit about what's on my face. So this is how it looks. I got on lipstick today. So um, I got my eyebrows waxed when I was in Nebraska. Um, I do have on my same eyelash extensions done by Brenda here in Houston. I am due for a fill though. I have on these little cluster earrings that I got from Agassi. Um, regular Cartier Love bracelet and then my diamond and gold ring that I'm always wearing. Um, okay, so I want to tell you a little bit about what is on my face today, and sorry you guys if I keep playing with my hair, I really don't like it today, so. Um, but yeah, it is still the same, she's happy hair, and I love the hair, it's just, it's giving me some issues today. My actual hair, not the she's happy hair. Um, so, for a highlight, you guys, I've been using the same Laura Mercier Candlelight Powder. Well, it's their mineral illuminating powder, but the color is called Candlelight. You guys, I love this stuff. I probably have this product for more than a couple of years because it lasts me so long. Um, but I literally just dip a little brush in here and I'll go here. So I'll show you. That's where I do it. And then here and I just make a C. Um, the blush I have on today is from Christian Dior. And this is the number... I think it's 28. Oh, I'm sorry. No, this is 889. And this is what it looks like. So it's like a really pretty coral color that's perfect for summer or spring. Um, and then on my lips today, I've got my NARS lip liner on. This is the color Priscilla, I believe. So it's just like a hot pink. And then I filled it in with this color from uh, Guerlain. And it's called, I think it's just number 141. Yeah, 141, I guess. And so I filled my lips in with that. So it's kind of like this coral orangey pink thing because I'm loving oranges and pinks right now, which goes perfect with uh, what I'm about to show you. But yeah, um, also what do I apply my blush with? Because my cheeks are really fat, so I like to apply my blush at an angle like this going up um, to kind of give them some definition. So it's the number 53 um, Pro Full Coverage Airbrush Brush from Sephora. So yes, you guys, and we're not going to talk about what I'm wearing because it's nothing fancy, um, but let's get into the good stuff. And excuse me if the lighting keeps changing because I'm sitting in front of the window, so, and it's kind of overcast. <sighs> Alrighty, so let me scoot back. So again, if you follow me on Instagram, you saw this ginormous bag from Louis Vuitton. It just looks like this, you guys, it's literally massive. So before we get into the actual um, unboxing, I want to give you like some background. So I had my eye on the Louis Vuitton um, Neverfull MM in the new style um, in the Damier print. And that's what I was going to get and I was going to love it and I was going to be happy. Um, however, a couple days, so I went home, um, you guys, I think I went on the 17th. And a couple days into my visit, I started seeing like pictures on Instagram and of this new collection coming out from Louis Vuitton called Ramages or Ramage. When I first saw it, I didn't think it was that cute. I thought it looked like giraffe necks and dots. And um, But then um, another lady that I follow on Instagram, her name is Brand Addict on Instagram. She posted a picture, so she visited her store. She lives in a different country. So they got the release date before the United States. So she posted the picture of the bags in person and they were absolutely beautiful and I was like okay wait a minute and so then she posted a picture of the one she got and she got a Speedy 30 in the new Ramage collection and it's gorgeous she posted some amazing modeling and detail shots and so in my mind I was like oh Speedy 30 it is I have to have it so I immediately called my essay um, when I asked him about the collection I described it as the one with the draft next and the dots and he was like what and he informed me that it's coral, and then I was like, okay, whatever, well, I still want it, so how much is it? So I got the prices, and he basically ran down, like, the Ramage collection as well as some other newer pieces that were coming out in April. Um, he couldn't give me an exact release date because they didn't know, but he said it should have been the end of March or the beginning of April. Um, and it was still, Mar well, it's still March, but it was, like, March 20th at this time. Um, 
So I took note of the prices or whatever, and then I pre-ordered the Speedy 30. So um, when he called me and said that it was in, which was this past Friday, um, which would have been, I'm sorry you guys, today is the 29th, so it was the 26th, Friday the 26th. No, <laughs> it was the it was the 27th, I'm sorry, Friday the 27th. Um, he called me and let me know that it was in, so I went in to see it, and yes, it was nice. However, it was way too small. I just, I don't know if I'm a speedy 30 girl. So I walk in there, and lo and behold, they've got the collection out. They only had a couple pieces. My store had the Never Fold the Speedy, and I think the scarf and the wallet. They didn't have the cosmetic case. Um, and I see the Never Fold MM, and my heart kind of like starts having palpitations. And so, literally, the sales assistant takes the bag down and sits it in front of me. So, and he's helping, like, two people, which is totally fine. But I'm, like, embracing the bag just like this. Guaranteed, I'm serious. I was in there probably, like, 25 minutes posing with the bag, holding the bag, walking around with the bag, looking at the bag, having conversations with other people while holding the bag. I was not letting him go. At one point, he took it back and was trying to put it away, and I grabbed it back from him and place it in my arms, and I had went with a really good friend of mine, I was telling him, I was like, I have to leave with this bag, so I did it, <sighs> and you guys, I'm sorry, my allergies are really bothering me, um, the weather's changing here, but, so I went ahead and got it, um, which, it's the best of both worlds, because I wanted a Ramages piece, and I wanted the new Neverfull MM style, um, so I kind of got them both, instead of getting one Damier, one Damier, and then the Speedy 30 from the Ramage, I kind of combined them and got exactly what I wanted. And you guys, I am so happy. I don't have a stitch of virus remorse in my body. And I love it so much. So now I'm rambling and I'm going to show you what I got. So, here is the receipt that it came in. We all know what this looks like. So, I'm not going to show you the price. However, you can definitely message me um, because I know that the prices aren't available online yet. I just want to show you the back of the receipt because this is the location where I always normally shop at. It's the Louis Vuitton, um, located inside the Galleria in Houston, Texas, on Westheimer Road. Okay, so this huge, huge box. Um, it's bigger than me. <laughs> you can barely see me. Okay, so I'm going to scoop back so I can unbox it for you. Um, and... So, the one that I was holding was the model, but, oh, and that's the other cool part. I was looking at the model, but then he, when I told him I was going to buy it, because apparently he didn't think I was going to get it, because I guess he doesn't know who I am or who my mother is, um, but he was quickly corrected when he brought up our accounts, um, but I was like, yeah, I'm going to take it, and he was like, oh, okay, so he went and got the new one, and then he let me know that I was actually getting one of two that they had in the store besides the model, so... I was so amazingly happy, and of course while I was there, I fell in love with these sunglasses, so you guys, I will be going back, I'll, I'll be going back, this is a terrible habit to start, I just want to let you know, because once you, once you start, you cannot stop, so, um, alright, so huge, massive, massive ginormous, this, you guys, is the same size box that my mom's key ball came in, so this is what it, the box looks like. So it's really, really big, and I'm going to sit it up on the chair like I do some of my other ones so you guys can see. Okay. Alrighty. So, we will unbox her together. So it comes in a ginormous, ginormous um, dust bag, similar to how the key balls come. so we can all see it so gorgeous dust bag it's huge you guys this is like a sleeper dust bag so sneaky peeky all right so <laughs> here she is you guys this is the phenomenal amazing brand spanking new Louis Vuitton Spring 2015 collection, I believe it is. Um, the Neverfull MM and the beautiful Ramages print. So it's coral and bright colored dots, coral reefs on top of the natural um, Louis Vuitton monogram. And this is the new style of Neverfull. So the interior is like a beautiful bright corally pink color and it does come with 
the pouch here, the little pochette accessory. And this is all Louis Vuitton monogram print, save for the lining, which is the same color of coral pink as the bag. And when you open it up, this is what it looks like. So it has a side pocket. It's got its own date code and a tag that says Louis Vuitton Paris. Okay, so before I do any type of modeling shots, I want to sit down and go over some details of this bag because I've only spent the last couple of days obsessing over it. And I hope it's showing up good in this lighting, you guys, because it's so stunning. My advice to you guys, though, if you think this collection is ugly or you're not sure about it, go in and look at it for yourself because the pictures do it no justice. It's really hard to capture the beauty um, in a camera. So, um, like I said, the lining. So one thing that I want to talk about, um, that's why I didn't say where it was made. For a while, they were going towards this thing where they were doing cloth in the bag. Um, instead of like saying it was made somewhere, it would just say Louis Vuitton Paris, and then your dust or your date code would be on a cloth or something like that. And I know there was a couple new Neverfolds that had that same style. However, this one is brand spanking new, and if you look at the inside, there's no cloth tag. It's got the regular Louis Vuitton Paris, and this bag was made in Spain, which I could care less about. <laughs> um, and then the date code, I want to read it to you. So it's GI0165. So it means it was made in Spain on the, let me see, let me read this right, on the sixth day of 2015. So she's beautiful and she's new and it's just neat that the collection came out in April officially but the bag was already made for me in January which makes me feel pretty special. Um, so yeah, so I want you to look at the detail. So you can see that it's not giraffe neck even though it does look like it. It's coral reefs, and that's really good lighting right there, so you can kind of see it. Um, but if you really look up close, it looks like it's black, but this color in here, these dots, are actually navy blue, which is really, really pretty, you guys. I mean, the mastermind behind this bag, like, who would have thought to put dots and coral reefs on a bag? It's beautiful, especially an iconic bag like a Neverfull. Um, so here's a close-up of the interior. Louis Vuitton Paris made in Spain. It's got the typical pockets um, in fashion with the newer Neverfulls. Um, so, oh, okay, and then the D-ring here, which is connected to the pochette accessory. So I'm going to take this off so we can look at the pochette accessory a little closer. So we're going to set this beauty right here. Okay. So, this is what the pochette accessory looks like that it comes with now, and this one will come with all the new style Neverfulls. So, I really love this leather detailing. I think that's so pretty. It comes with the little strap and the hook, and like I said, since this is a limited edition, it's got the pink, and correct me if I'm wrong, I don't know if the, um, the new Neverfulls, like the regular monogram, if the lining is colored, I'm not sure. Um, it's got the two-tone hardware, so one is like kind of a matte finish where the other is more shiny. Um, and then like I said, I love this because it's got like an inside little pocket here. It's got its own date code, and then it says Louis Vuitton Paris made in Spain as well on the inside. And you guys, honestly, this is perfect for using when you go out to the club, you can, or wherever you're going. <laughs> um, you can throw your driver's license in here, like passport, cards, ID, some cash, and just hold it like a wristlet, which is really, really cute. So I really love that this comes with it. I think this is a great addition. Honestly, you could argue, like, why is it three or 400 more just for this pouchette? But honestly, I think it's worth it, so... Um, okay, so one thing I was kind of concerned about is all this Vaqueta leather. Um, my limited edition, and you can see it back there, kind of, um, Steven Sprouse Collection Graffiti Neverfull GM had Vaqueta leather. I mean, it's aged quite nicely, but honestly, I got the bag when I was very young, and I will say I didn't know how to take care of it. Um, so now I feel like I'm a little bit more knowledgeable. Um, so yeah. The Vaqueta leather right now is really light and beautiful, and you guys... I'm absolutely head over heels in love with this bag. I love it so much. I want to go get the Sweetie 30, the sunglasses that came out, um, the cosmetic case. And that's it. I looked at the wallet. I didn't really like it. And I don't want that pochette thingy because I already have one. So I'm going to stand up and do a couple modeling shots for you. 
Um, so you guys can put this in perspective. So again, you guys, I am 5'2", maybe 5'1 and a half, 5'2 on a good day. Um, I weigh 118 pounds, which I'm very proud of, finally. Can you guys forgive me because I think my leggings are kind of see-through. <laughs> But anyways, okay, so, and this is the Louis Vuitton Neverfull MM. I don't know the dimensions off the top of my head, but you guys can definitely look at it on the website. So, here is how it looks if I carry it like a top handle bag. And you guys, I think this is a really good size for me. I usually do the GM, um, but I love the MM size. This is how it looks if I'm just holding it by my side. when I lift the bag up and put it on my shoulder and it fits very very comfortable here so here from the back other side and then here again so and you guys the bag is absolutely beautiful um, another concern of mine is color transfer um, like I said with my graffiti never full I did get some color transfer on the back just because I use it as an everyday bag you guys with this blue hoodie that I would wear a lot um, back when I didn't know any better and I'm kind of heartbroken about it um, so I hope that doesn't happen with this bag because I love it so I think I might be a little conscious about what I wear with it when I went to the Louis Vuitton store on Saturday, I had on this perfect gray maxi dress, and I think that's what helps to persuade me to buy the bag, because it looks amazing with the dress. Um, so now I want to compare it really quickly to um, one of my other limited edition Neverfulls. This is the Louis Vuitton limited edition Ion, or excuse me, iCat print. So it's the one that's got those big, beautiful, lovely flowers in the interior. So right away you can tell that this monogram print is darker than this one, but right now I just want to compare for sizes. So this is the GM and this is the MM. So side by side. You can obviously tell that this bag is a lot bigger. So. Um, this would not be really an everyday bag, maybe if you were going shopping or to the airport or traveling. And I still do adore this bag, you guys. It has started to sag a little bit um, with age, and the canvas has definitely softened up. I can remember when it used to be really like sturdy and hard feeling like that one. So, yes! I'm going to give you one more... Um, <laughs> Close up look at this beautiful, amazing bag. So, <clears throat> here she is. Gorgeous, perfect in every imaginable way. Beautiful. Alrighty, you guys, well, we are right at about 20 minutes, and I'm just gonna keep rambling and ogling over my bag so I hope you guys really enjoyed this video um, feel free to leave comments and ask me any questions you guys have um, I really want to do a um, um, frequently asked questions because a lot of people ask me questions and I will admit I'm really bad at answering comments on YouTube but if you ask me on Instagram I'll answer you like right back unless you're asking me something personal or silly or ignorant so yes but feel free to ask me questions, you guys. I really want to do an FAQ type video, um, and I hope this video was really, really helpful. I want to say it's going to be one of the first videos um, showing the reveal of this Ramages collection. So I love you guys. Be sure to like and subscribe, and follow me on Instagram at official or underscore official doll face. 